So going a little bit from memory here, for reasons that some of you will be aware of, um, why are all these people stupid in this episode? Like, okay. <clears throat> so we have the Jedi, who are stupid, and we have the Republic, who are willing to pay a mere million credits, I think it was, in order to get Dooku back, which, I mean, honestly, that sounds like a lot of money, but I'm... I'm, I'm used to thinking of economics in Star Wars at the state level, and a million credits for basically capturing the enemy head of state is a bargain. Then there's the fact that Dooku gets captured at all, mostly because he's spending the entire time being entirely above all of this. Like, he doesn't escape properly. He doesn't try to do anything. Like, like okay, let me rewind a second. I can fully and firmly believe the idea that mundanes can take on force users. Obviously not in a fair fight, maybe, with proper equipment, but the point being, I've never been one of those people who believe that the Jedi are just innately better in every way than others. Now, I know that's th something that some people think, and that's something people that other people agree with. We we've all been arguing about this forever. I'm just giving my personal opinion that I don't think force users are invincible when fighting against mundanes, okay? Having said that, the idea of a bunch of bounty hunters capturing a, capturing a Force user makes perfect sense to me. Here's the problem. The reason they captured him was because they had him completely surrounded by uh, people with guns trained on him, and he didn't have his lightsabers. Okay, I could believe that in that moment. But the fact that Dooku lets himself get to that moment is just strange. There were, God, a dozen or so opportunities for him to try and work his way out of this before even reaching the point where he was now in the trap, right? I mean, how about when you're on the ship heading over, just as an example? And again, if Dooku had his lightsabers, well, that battle probably would have gone a lot more in his favor. Then the Jedi are like, yeah, we'll come check it out. Oh, hey, look. Hmm. It turns out that uh, they're offering us a drink. Why don't we just offer it? <laughs> Yay! I'm sure that drink won't have any kind of poison in it at all, right? <sighs> that being said, the one thing that was good about this episode is the introduction of, I hope I'm remembering his name correctly, Hondo. Voiced by Jim Cummings. I like Hondo. I like Jim Cummings. What more do I need to add to that? It's good to see him finally entering the show, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of him in the future. That's all I got, by memory. See you next time, guys.